So you guys know I always make my videos short. I trained in college as a chemical technician for three years. And one of the things I made was vitamin C. If you've been searching for vitamin C products, you've probably already heard about how unstable it is. You know SkinCeuticals is the gold standard. They have a patent on their formula, which means other companies cannot copy them. But something that people don't know about patents is for you to patent a formula, your formula has to be made public because companies need to know what they're not allowed to do. So SkinCeuticals, will you ever find a duplicate? No. No, you're not going to. But you can still find something that's pretty damn effective. So my experience with the Timeless was a little bit mixed. I would use it during the day after cleansing and then I would put a very neutral soothing lotion on top. This is 20% vitamin C, which frankly is kind of high. If you look at the typical products on the market, 20% is probably one of the highest ones that they have. It's us usually they're like 10% to 20% is like the most effective. I personally found this really irritating on my skin. Like it made it red and hot. However, the lines that I had on my forehead and my smile lines are almost non-existent. Being in my 30s, a lot has changed on my skin. I was putting on my makeup and I was like, gosh, it's sinking into lines. I didn't even know I had lines. This definitely made a huge difference. Like it totally plumped up my skin. My makeup goes on much smoother. So it works. It does work, but it's really irritating. So I'm probably going to buy the 10% version of this and I'm going to stick with that. Something they taught us in the lab when we were making stuff is three main things you need for oxidation is light, air, temperature. The pump limits the air, the opaque bottle limits the light, put in the fridge, you're limiting the temperature. The texture and color of this did not change from the day I purchased it to the day I finished it because I kept it in the fridge. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if I didn't keep it in the fridge, it definitely would have oxidized. So now you know how to make your vitamin C last a little bit longer. You got a slightly cheaper product you can give a try. Is SkinCeuticals bad? No, I just think their packaging is absolute crap. I don't understand why they're using a dropper. Like you put so much time and effort into your formula and you're gonna stop with the container. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I purchased the May Love Glow Maker, but I haven't used it yet. I have a feeling I'm gonna be kind of disappointed with it because it also has a dropper, which means a lot of air is gonna get inside. So I'll try and seal the bottle as quickly as I can when I'm using it. But unless I'm absolutely in love with it, I'm going to stick with the timeless and just buy the 10%.